All right, guys, this is what we're talking about today. Three different manufacturers, all with one thing in common. Every single one of these is, if it'll focus at all, there we go, S30V. That horrible steel everyone complains about that it chips so bad and it doesn't do well. We're going to go ahead and talk about that. Say three way shootout, S30V, Benchmade Freak. Oop. S30V Buck 110 with the BOS heat treat. And that is a loner knife, that buck. And some Spyderco S30V, little native. And this is also my knife, has not been hardness tested. This one has, as you can see, but I have no idea what the hardness is on it. And this has been a long time coming, as you can see. My Freak has been tested, and if you go way back, I believe you'll see it in one of my hardness result videos. That is how long ago I did the edge retention on this S30V, and I just never got around to posting it until now. So, I did go ahead and run this one more time currently with the other ones just to make sure that nothing had changed everything was how it was when i did it before so we're going to go ahead and watch the cutting right now and then we'll come back and talk about how all three of these s30v did for performance
Now that we saw the cutting, let's go ahead and talk about these three knives and S30V. And I did test this one, like I said, quite some time ago, so long ago that it did actually go to Kurt to be tested after I cut with it. And I believe it was 59.8 or so, something around there. So Benchmade Freak S30V, and before I cover these results, something I wanted to talk about about S30V. See a lot of stuff about people saying how bad S30V chips. I've used a lot of S30V, and. I, I personally have not seen it. I don't find S30V to be a real chip, chip prone steel. Had it been something that I observed over many knives, then yes, maybe I would say that S30V is inherently chippy. It's not. Could that be a combination of people using the factory edge? Yeah, a lot, of, a lot of factory edges will chip. Doesn't matter what the steel is. Most factory edges get overheated when they put them on. Shown that over and over. You can go watch Steve's videos, Tom's videos, BJ's video. I mean, this it's been covered. Not many factory edges. They might come sharp. They don't stay that way very long. And yes, factory edges from any steel are more prone to chipping. If you haven't put two, three, four edges on your S30V, do that. Then come back, assess it, see how it actually is. But I just see these blanket statements all the time about how bad this steel is, how this this other steel chips, this one's hard to sharpen. More of the time, guys, it's going to be you didn't do something to get rid of that fatigued steel. It could be when it comes to something's hard to sharpen, maybe your skill level isn't up to where someone else's is I don't find anything to be hard to sharpen the only things I do find to be difficult to sharpen are poorly heat treated steels ones that you can't get an apex on because they're too soft or ones that have a burr that you just can't get off no matter what you do and I've had some ones like that I'll cover it again at some point, but let's stop with the blanket statements. Everything is, has got to be put into context. And maybe you've had a bad experience with one knife. Maybe you should try some other S30V then. So let's go ahead and talk about how these did. Sharpened all these, same as always. Stropped them the same as always. Ran the test the same. S30V Freak. The first test was on the fifth edge. 132 feet fine edge. Another 38 feet working edge for a total of 170 feet. Sharpened it again, did everything the same. Ran the test again. The verification test, 137 feet fine edge, 43 feet working edge for a total of 180 feet. 
And I'm just going to touch on it real quick here. It sounds a whole lot like a whole lot of M390, 20CV, and 204P that I've tested those results, doesn't it? Next up, the Little Native in S30V. All these sharpened up just fine, deburred just fine. I had no problems getting a really good edge on any of them. This one, I started testing on my edge number three. I believe this had a factory edge on it when I got it. I can't be positive. But I'm going off of, because I did get this used, I'm going off the edges I put on it. My third edge, 124 feet fine edge, 53 feet working edge for a total of 177 feet. Sharpened it again. Did all that same as every every other one ran edge number four got 129 feet fine edge 51 feet working edge for a total of 180 feet I did also run this one kind of like the M390 Manix of Josh's. I did use a, another 32 pound crush weight cardboard. As always, continuing just to make sure that if one of you does a test at home, you're going to get similar results. So, on a different 32 pound crush weight cardboard, edge number five, 130 feet fine edge. 50 feet working edge for a total of 180 feet. Again, this, you guys can go back and look and verify. So far, these two S30V knives are mid pack with what the M390 20CV 204P family we see out of. And last, the Buck 110 it's S30V. This has been tested by someone else. I don't recall what the hardness was on this one. This one I got on the factory edge, so I went ahead, just like everything else, sharpened it three times. And this does actually cut pretty nice. Most of this edge is a little bit under 20 thousandths. It's got a nice hollow grind to it. So on the fourth edge, I ran my first test. You got 117 feet fine edge, another 29 feet working edge for a total of 146 feet. Repeated the process for the verification. 119 feet fine edge, 28 feet working edge for a total of 147 feet. That's right in the pack with S35. You go back and look, the Buck S35 that I tested, I believe it was, I'm just guessing from memory, it's about 6% difference between that one and this one. So they both seem to be done about the same. Didn't have any problems sharpening this one stropping it or anything like that the edge comes up nice
as you guys can see, and yes, these two are about 15% ahead of this buck. Does that mean the buck's bad? No, I've, I've got some more S30V coming. Some of it didn't do so good. Some of it did really good. Nothing wrong with this. As you saw with these two, right in there, I, I can't even tell you guys without you... I'd have to go back and look. There were so many M390 out of all those ones I did that hit right in the 180 foot mark for total cutting. I think a lot of people, if you, they didn't know what the steel was, you plugged this and most of the M390 I did into identical knives gave them both of them i don't know if anybody'd be able to tell you a difference between their edge retention in use it's not necessarily going to be a part two but i will mention this video in another video that i have just have to edit it we're going to talk a whole lot about m390 and what other steels compare to it. So I will be mentioning this video again. That's all I have. Any comments, questions, you don't like what I had to say about S30V, put a thumbs down, leave me a comment. Tell me why you think S30V is chippy. I'd love to hear it. As always, I appreciate your time, and thanks for watching.